you know, it, I did not expect to make this video today. I did not. I did not expect this at all. And you're probably wondering, what what, what is it that, that you're talking about, big boy? Big boy sports, what are you talking about? How about those Longhorns of Texas, my Longhorns of Texas, and the, those Sooners, those dreaded, dreaded Oklahoma Sooners that I hate so much? How about that? The SEC? Huh? Yeah. The rumors, they are starting. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it at all. And I don't think some schools the SEC are going to like it either. Some are not going to like it at all. Now, it has been stated somewhere that I believe that, you know, I believe that somewhere some source said that the grant of rights that, you know, that the Big 12 signed a couple, about a decade ago, about a decade ago. They signed that back about a decade ago. Somewhere that said that Texas and Oklahoma are not going to renew their GOR rights and they could potentially be going to the SEC. Now, here's the problem with that. The problem is several things. The problem is several things here. First off, it's the Longhorn Network. It makes no sense for it to even happen. It makes no sense for it to exist. And you know, it could be a Big 12 network now, but no, ESPN continues to give Texas money, you know, give the boosters money because they don't they don't care about the fans. They don't care they don't care about the students at Texas. They don't care about fans like me, they don't care about the students, but they do care about them boosters. So the boosters that booster money and that ESPN Disney mouse money, you know, feeding into the Longhorn network at all. It should not exist. And it was very egotistical. A very egotistical play. You know, by Texas. That's why Missouri, Texas A&M, Nebraska, and Colorado left. We know, we all know this from a decade ago. That's why those four teams left. That's why we were forced to add West Virginia. Because West Virginia didn't have anywhere to go. And we were forced to have, you know, the good old TCU. You know, TCU's been pretty good in this conference. West Virginia, not so much. Um, but, you know, and there's also the whole Oklahoma pay-per-view fiasco. How is that going to work? Because remember, <laughs> remember a couple of years back when we had to watch the end of the Army game between them and Oklahoma on pay-per-view? Yeah, there's that. There's no way that's going to happen either, you know. Remember, SEC, you know, did a deal with ESPN. Remember that new deal with ESPN that kicks off. <clears throat> That's kicking off this year and will, you know, be fully realized in 2024 when they get all those CBS games and those, you know, those five or six CBS basketball games and those 15, you know, football games, you know, which cost a lot of money. I mean, look at how much CBS bid for it, and they still lost. They bid like they bid it like three hundred million dollars, and they still lost because ESPN had you know just a bit more. You know, they had more, they had more money. So there's that. You know, you know. There's also the thing you know with the whole you know ESPN Plus thing that has been starting up. You know, some some. Football games, and some basketball games will be exclusive on ESPN Plus. You know, starting this year, I believe. You know, for the SEC, and I want all my Texas Longhorn games to be on television. I do not want an Oklahoma pay-per-view situation where I have to have you know Twitch to go find the game, you know, or Pluto TV or something like that. I don't want to have to go find a Longhorns game, you know, somewhere. That is not on television. That just doesn't work out for me. I don't like. It's disgusting. I, I've said it many times how much I hate streaming. It has become the new cable. And there's also, you know, the other big, another big thing is that, again, some schools aren't going to want the Longhorns or Oklahoma 
maybe more so the Longhorns than Oklahoma. More so the Longhorns. Some schools are not going to want the Longhorns in this conference, in the SEC. Arkansas? No. Texas A&M? Hell no. Missouri? No. No, that's that's a that's that's. That's three votes against right there. You need 75% or something like that to get in. You need like 11. 11 out of 14 schools or something like that. You know, for the SEC's purposes anyway. And that's just not going to happen. You know, I don't, I don't think, you know. And how is it going to work? You know, that's the, the third thing is how is this going to work with divisions? I've seen, you know, all sorts of different scenarios where we move Alabama and Auburn to the SEC East, even though that would kill, you know, some of those SEC West rivalries that they have. But, you know, but, 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 you know, Auburn would get to play Florida every year. Auburn would get to play Georgia every year. Still, you know, Alabama would get to play Florida and Georgia every year. You know, it is what it is. They don't get to play LSU every year. Neither of those two get to play LSU. Neither of those two get to play Ole Miss or Mississippi State, you know, every year. So it is what it is there. You know, I've seen the whole pods thing, which I also don't like. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. I don't think this should happen. You, you, have, you have a comp. Oklahoma and Texas control the Big 12. There, there's no denying that, so... You know, you have that already, an opportunity already at your fingertips to, con to, to continue controlling a conference like the Big 12 because you're the ones that, you're, you guys, Texas and Oklahoma, feed the Big 12. There's no, there's no denying that, along with Kansas basketball. But I'm talking about overall. There's no denying that... The Big 12 can't survive without Texas and Oklahoma. And, you know, there's, you know, some things that still say, hey, Oklahoma State has to come too, so where is Oklahoma State going to go? And I don't know where people are getting the big... You know, let, let's just talk about where the other teams would go if, you know, if Oklahoma and Texas left either either ne next year or in a few years down the line when the grant of rights ends. You know, where would Oklahoma State go? This is not really a place for them to go. There's really not. Don't say the Big Ten, because that that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. That's too far. Not going to happen. You know, it works for Rutgers in Maryland, but not for Oklahoma State. Stop it. They could take Kansas because they are an AAU school. You know, Big Ten likes their academics. They might have to take Kansas State with them, though. I don't know where Iowa State would go either. You, you can't really say ACC because that doesn't make any sense. It, I mean, the ACC already doesn't make any sense, but you can't say ACC now, you know, either. West Virginia makes sense for the ACC. Notre Dame, which I've also seen, you know, some rumors about, you know, them, you know, the ACC is like, hey, hurry up. You forget about this football independence nonsense. Let's do it like we did last year, you know, in 2020. Let's do that all over again. Know, so we can get some big time games, you know. You know, play a conference schedule in Notre Dame. Play a conference schedule. You know, you gotta you don't even gotta play Toledo this year. You can play you can play Wake Forest, you know, every year. You can play North Carolina and Clemson every year, huh? You wanna do that? But I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> but I mean it would make so much sense, you know, it makes so much sense for West Virginia and Notre Dame to go to the ACC. It makes so much sense for them. Where would Baylor, TCU, Texas Tech, where would those three teams go? Because you don't say Pac-12 because Pac-12, you don't really say Pac-12 unless you have something else with the Pac, with, you know, with those Texas schools. You gotta have something else with them so you don't, you don't have to have them too geographically isolated. So I don't know. I really don't know. I just don't know. Let's see, because there's like no real solution for any of the other teams in the conference. There really is no solution here. You can't cast TCU back off because they've proven themselves. You know, of course, at you know at one point in time they were one of the best teams in the country in college football. Now they're not. 
cast off Baylor either because they were also very good. They were also very good. They were very good a couple of years ago. They were very good, you know, during that same time when TCU was, you know, dominating as well. You know, Baylor and TCU had some battles back in the early 2010s. You know, had some huge battles. You know, back in that 2012 to 2015 time range, huge battles. You can't cast off Oklahoma State because Oklahoma State has to go with Oklahoma somewhere, potentially. I don't, I don't know how that works. And you know, I just don't, I just don't know. There's, there's a whole, there's a whole situation there, which I don't think, you know, I don't think Oklahoma and Texas should leave the Big 12. It's just not gonna happen. I don't think it should happen. If it does happen, it's not gonna work. And if it does work, oh well, I'll be surprised. You know, I've been surprised on far more things than this, but this this rumor might take the cake, and people have, are still talking about it today, and people are going to keep talking about it, and it won't shut up about it, and they're not going to shut up about it because I don't, I, I, I just don't want this to happen. I don't, I don't want this to happen. I don't know where these people get their sources from, but I don't, I don't want this to happen. I don't want Oklahoma and Texas. I especially don't want my Longhorns near the SEC. Let's add somebody else to the Big 12, please. Let's make, let's turn the Longhorn Network into the Big 12 Network, and we can put more Big 12 sports, you know, on, you know, actual television instead of having to use ESPN Plus because that would make a lot of sense. It doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense. I just, I just, I'm confused. I'm, I'm, I'm very confused. I'm very disappointed. I'm very confused. I'm all sorts of, I have all sorts of different emotions right now, and it's, it's making me mad. It's making me mad. But yeah, that's going to pretty much do it. Again, hope y'all have a good week. Um, weekend, you know. Today's Thursday, tomorrow will be Friday, so that's the start of the weekend. You know, you know, just have a have a good rest of your week, everybody. I just wanted to get this out there. Y'all you know, take care. Have a good day. See you again soon.